Good evening. As you may know, there is already an ordinance in place that bans encampments near schools, but council members have to take several steps in order to remove those encampments, and this amendment would change that. At Virgil Middle School in Koreatown, a large encampment canvasses part of the school's property, leading parents to voice their concerns at the LA City Council meeting Tuesday. I also know that these people um, suffer from mental, mental health issues and they're always fighting with each other. LA Unified School District Superintendent Alberto Carvalho echoed those words. The trauma, the long term, short term repercussions impact on the psychological cognitive development of children that those conditions present should be unacceptable to any one of us. After hearing from Carvalho and parents, the LA City Council voted to expand its anti-camping law to cover hundreds of educational facilities. The current ordinance allows the council to prohibit encampments around parks, libraries, and schools, but it can't be enforced until the council has reviewed the location and voted to clear it. This new ordinance takes out that extra step, and parents like Jessica Rogers In believes addition, it's important. Why hasn't this happened sooner? Thank goodness that we finally recognize that what we are putting our children through and, and that we have to protect the most vulnerable. She says she's had her own troubles with encampments near her kids' elementary school. These are things that you do not want to, or at least I did never thought that I would be exposing my children to living in Los Angeles. Council member Joe Buscaino was one of the council members voting in favor of this amendment. Of he introduced a similar motion months ago. It's taken too long. We, we shouldn't have to have this debate to um, prohibit encampments next to schoolyards. It's getting worse. Critics argue the ordinance will punish people for living on the streets. Council member Mike Bonin, who voted against the measure, believes the ordinance doesn't solve the issue. In a tweet, he says banning homelessness near schools will just move the tents to the sidewalks kids take to schools instead. Buscaino disagrees. To the opponents who are opposing this, including a couple of my colleagues, you know, what's with the debate? Schools are sacred grounds. You know, why debate? Why study? Why vote no on this? Uh, we have to protect our, our students, our families, and our teachers. Following the vote, the city attorney is now drafting the amendment, which could eventually become law. We have a moral, a professional, a personal responsibility to protect our children. The next step is this measure will go to committee and then city council will vote on it again. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.